if you do not own a Mach 1, you don't know life. <laughs> Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. How's it guys? My name is Adil Mohamed from Street Crew Customs and on my right hand side is the well-known golf Mark 1 called Emotion. Winner of Campfest VDAP, best of show winner. The reason being we built Emotion is to advertise Street Crew Customs, what Street Crew Customs is capable of throughout from the front to the back, bottom to top, interior, all round 360, what we can do to a vehicle. We've got emotion for the past 15 to 16 years. It was the original avocado green. We bought it from an old lady. She looked after it and yet she let it go to us. So as the years went by, we kept it as original. Around 2010-2011, we dropped in the 16-valve normal aspirated motor. 2021, we started with the build. We said, let's build it to showcase what we're capable of because we, in those times, we weren't really well known. So that's the purpose of building Emotion. And it was a complete car. We stripped it down to bare shell. There was not a single nut or bolt into this vehicle. We built our own 360 degree flip stand in the backyard, flipped the car, started with the undercarriage, cleaned out all the rubber rising from the wheel arches, undercarriage, and bit by bit, every single part, we restored, resprayed, and gave it TLC. Tender, love, and care. So the color, we were gonna go with the original color. But when we went to have a look at the color charts and we came across one specific color chart and it had all the amazing uh, pearl colors, we came across this green and said, you know what, it will definitely complement the vehicle with the color combination of the gold, the black and the chrome. And that's the reason why we chose the candy apple green and we just added a bit of gold pearl to it to change the look. So at the bottom, I got the original Mark 1 spoiler, but I custom modified it. It's a VW vent. I fitted it in. It actually looks awesome. Bumper beadings, I've imported. The, these chrome beadings to the side has been imported as well. The original AA badge, I just restored it with a bit of gel on top of it to protect it from the sun again. I got the crystal headlight with a cross in it. Original chrome wiper arms. I high polished it myself with my own polishing machine. And original VW rubbers front and back has been fitted with the chrome inserts. The rack top sunroof has been fitted by IS Motorsport. And the reason being we put the rack top sunroof, it, it's old school. And that's what we'd like is to keep it old school and it really complements the whole body. The wheels is the 16 inch Uni Motion ones. It's very rare to find. We sent the lips in for high polish. The faces we've restored ourselves, spray painted ourselves, sorted out any imperfections. The weights behind the wheels due to wheel balancing is color coded green to the car. So that's something totally different. Uh, the wheel arches is original. We've just rolled them. So in order for the fitment with the air suspension, so it tucks in properly. The wheel decals I have customized and uh, designed it all by myself uh, due to my graphic design experience. And I've designed it, made it to OEM spec, but not exactly OEM spec, I just changed the colors of the writing. We're running off 165, 40, 16 stretch tires. Absolutely amazing fitment. We had to do a few 
mods to the tire in order to give it that tuck. Over here we're running the down air suspension management system with the LX compressors, five gallon seamless tank, and it's the Bluetooth system. So you can stand out of the car and lift the car, drop the car, tilt the car to the side with your cell phone. Hardlines has been the first time that we have bent hardlines ourselves. And to my honest opinion, it came out absolutely amazing. Okay, it's old school way I open up the bonnet. The motor I have in here is a 2 liter 16 valve. It comes out from the Golf 2 GTI. It's the ABF motor. The motor has been worked. It has the steel crank, uh, forged corn rods, high compression pistons. The head has been fully worked to stage three. We're running it off the R8 coil packs. The Sustec management system, the newer version of the Dictator, absolutely amazing. Uh, running off the RXI 45 mil throttles. I have a racing gearbox, not any ordinary gearbox, it has racing ratios. So back in the days we had it and enjoying the driving around through the streets highway. And as after the build has been done, we sacrifice not driving a car because it's a full on show car. Try not to damage any odds and ends and maintain it the way it is. We have done the complete wire tuck. I have custom modified headlight mounts, which is totally different and the first to be modified and put on a Mark 1 in SA. I have cut off the rain tray, left the firewall as OEM. I just closed off the heater box hole, kept it as the original mold because with a color, each and every mold gives off a different effect of the color tone. And the wiper motor has been modified as well. It doesn't sit as the original wiper motor, how it should sit. Brake booster delete. I never flip the booster. I'm running off just a master cylinder. It's absolutely amazing. You brake on time and it's just as the same as a brake booster in use. So as well, we have custom fender bolts, totally different from what all the other guys have in use. It's not the Allen keys with the fancy washers. Something absolutely totally different. And throughout the car, through the back windows interior, we've complemented it with the same type custom bolts we have made. Interior, we went with 100% genuine leather, as if you sit in a vehicle, it gives you off that scent. We've mixed the genuine leather with velvet interior, so it complements both colors together. The dashboard has been recovered in genuine leather with a custom stitch around it. We built a complete center console from the front, uh, connects up to the back, it runs in between the seats. Custom built center console with the gauges, the radio, the equalizer, etc and it has the original under dash cover and i made up my own under dash cover for the driver side whereas it's very difficult to get this old school dash with the undercovers of the dash the pedals on the side here and the whole steering column has been color coded but you can only ever look at the pedals and i fitted on the golf 4 gti chrome pedals on it carpet has been totally removed i've made up genuine leather mats with a padding matching the seats design, mixing it with the velvet interior on the sides. And the seats is the original Golf 1 seats. I've stripped the complete seat down to the frame. I had a thought in mind of how I want the seat to look. And I have did some cutting and modifications to the seat, building it more bucket look and having the open gaps around with adding a small headrest where the original Mark 1 1979 1980 old school seat has no headrest. I made up a small headrest to complement the seat. Same as the bottom, uh, built up a frame to make it more bucket look and the padding on the seats, the floor and the back custom and the roof lining all complement each other. The boot install, we've done the back seat delete and uh, made a full floor in the back with the boot custom is set up with the hard lines, color coded hard lines, two compressors on the sides and the floating floor. We actually raised up the board to give it a floating look of the air setup. We've did a custom design uh, sub box 
out of fiberglass, molded everything ourselves. Sound system is complete sound system from wiring to RCAs to cabling, subs, M, speakers, everything has been full on targa. In the back of the door panels we have fitted in two fire extinguishers due to safety factors that can happen to the vehicle. We have the pop-out windows in the back also imported and like the fender bolts it has been complemented on the rear windows as well. The roll cage we've never we never go to the design of every other Mark 1 built roll cage. We've went to a different design mounting on the front pillars to the back with all four bars bolted onto the center, having the original wolf badge in the center of the center brace. The back arches has been color coded to the vehicle color as well, the inside uh, pillars as well, all complementing each other due to color combination. Mark 1 in SA is the best. It runs around the whole of SA. If you do not own a Mark 1, you don't know life. Mark 1 is the best way to start off with your first vehicle. There's never a point where you have done too much to the vehicle. There's always something to do with it, something different to do with it, and that list always carries on. This year, Cab Fest, it was our first time entering a vehicle. Absolutely nervous, absolutely excited and our main focus to taking the vehicle to campfest was experiencing how VDAP campfest is taking your car on stage putting it on the disco ball spinning it around and what i can say is when this vehicle was on the disco ball it absolutely looked differently to when it's parked at home our emotions our excitement and everything was beyond levels to explain taking awards from VDAP fest due to best paint best install is to the first time we've done it and the main thing, best of show, was an absolute honor to represent Street Crew Customs and supporting the VDAP Fest uh, community. So it's we four brothers in total, and I'm the, the youngest. So we'd like to open up a workshop, the bigger space to pull in more vehicles, to push out more capacity and build ourselves up there and do more for people. Not, uh, what I always say, when a customer comes to me and wants a paint job and they always ask, ask me, will my vehicle look like yours? My personal saying is, I take my customer's cars as my personal cars. You will get what I produce on my personal cars. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. I will only be happy when my customers are happy. Are you busy trying to decide between two cars, three cars, four cars, five cars, six cars, and getting absolutely lost in all of the specs and all of the different pricing? Well, we have an excellent compare tool on our main website and in our app for you to use. It's very detailed, it's very slick and quick and efficient, and I highly recommend it. I use it all the time when I'm doing research for our car shoots. So check it out, we'll put the link in the description below, and tell us what you think. Tell us if it helped you out. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars.